Hey guys, welcome back and today we're gonna talk about what's going on in the world especially with Vanessa Gagin and everything that's going on with other soldiers who have gone missing who have been murdered and that's an issue that is happening in our military today so I have Demetrius, he's gonna go ahead and help me out talk about these issues and what solutions can we implement how can we be better Alright guys, so the first topic uh, that we're gonna cover to help the military and to help find a solution is going to be Reformation for the military, sexual harassment and sexual assault programs, equal opportunity, suicide prevention programs with outside sources like contractors who are civilians, contractors who have a degree, contractors that can do this 24-7 with the authority to punish service members regardless of rank. All right, so what do you think we should do and what do you think will be a best way for us to fix this? Well, simple. Um, I agree with, with uh, what you said in regards to having a civilian full time uh, serving as a unit's UVA. Simply because um, with a civilian, it won't be any bias. For instance, if we have a claim come down and it, it's deemed that the perpetrator is actually good friends with the UVA, we don't want any uh, friction. We don't want any of that getting into play. and. Those guys already have other billets, okay? So they, they already have their everyday work on their minds. Um, you know, they may not always have the time to see every case and actually treat every case as if it was the only thing they had on their plate. So with a civilian um, with a degree who's knowledgeable with this, uh, with this field will greatly benefit the Marine Corps um, in general when it comes to uniform victim advocates. And I agree with you 100% because there are a lot of uh, staff and CEOs and officers who have a different billet. They're chiefs. They're leading already. They already have a responsibility and they get added onto these responsibilities. How do I know that they're taking it serious? How do I know that they're taking it just as serious as they're taking their own mission, their own jobs as serious? So having a civilian who is able to care for us military service members 24 seven, seven days a week, that whose only job and only purpose is to attend to these problems, it will make a difference. I hardly believe that. And I hope that whoever is watching this can help us make that change because that, that will be great for everyone because the civilian is not gonna have like the biased opinion, like you say, that, that agenda of like, oh wow, that's my friend oh wow i can't believe he did that like how do i go about it like you so it kind of changes how they will react if now the civilian doesn't have no type of relationship or friendship with those military service members but they are working they're professionals and they're here to help us out it will make it a lot better i believe that this is a solution to this problem and it will make it better have trained civilians Absolutely. with degrees with stuff that's their purpose, that's their mission. Just like we have a mission as service members, that will be their mission. And also in the comments, tell us what you guys think. Tell me what you guys think about the reformation of the military sexual assault programs, equal opportunity programs. Tell us what you guys think. Should civilians run it? Tell me what you think about it and why should, we, should they run it? Because we think it's a good idea and we think it will help us a lot. The second, topic that we're going to cover today is going to be the male's perspective about being around other female marines and how is that like and Demetrius is going to take the hand on this because he is a male marine clearly I'm not in our perspectives are completely different yeah so guys keep in mind in every field every profession there's always a dark side and in the, in the military in the marine corps in general um the dark side is sexual assault and sexual harassment. There should be no place at all in our fine institution for any of that. Um, as a male who's been in the Marine Corps for a little bit over six years now, unfortunately, I have seen a lot of that personally. Um, I've seen sexual harassment, Marines making sexual comments towards um, our coworkers. Um, I've seen and overheard Marines talking bad about other Marines, other female Marines, name calling. Um, saying that they don't do any work, saying that they don't know why they're here, There's, this is no place for females, calling them wucks, calling them everything they possibly can. And 
it is, it is, it is terrible because as a leader, as an NCO, I have females under my charge. It is my job to look out for them and their well-being, uh, just the same as it is for my male Marines. And I don't tolerate that inside of my unit. I already told my Marines I will never tolerate that. And if I see something like that happening, that is my job to report that. So the way those Marines can get, um, they can get charged for their actions. All right, this is definitely no place for sexual assault or sexual harassment. And I completely agree with you. Uh, it's happened to me. I've been called names before and I have to stand up for myself and I have to report it and I have to let them know that is wrong. And uh, there's a lot of people that do that. And there's a lot of people in the veteran community who do that because they think it's okay because they were that served in the marine corps way before we did or way before females were allowed in the marine corps and that's not okay because you came from a woman you were born from a woman you should have respect for women just as much as respect as you, as you have for your mother that's something that i truly believe in and i wouldn't want my marines to be disrespected or name calling or do things as a joke like the name calling or calling jokes and then people just laugh because that's okay. That's not okay at all whatsoever. So the change starts there when we're correcting each other. When we're making sure that people are not saying something out of line and we laugh about it to in a response of acceptance. That's not right. To make a change, you have to correct it. And I'm a firm believer that our new Marines this day and age are getting that attitude from veterans or getting that attitude from Marine Corps pages, all male Marine Corps pages, to where it's all they used to do was talk bad about women, you know, uh, post their post their private pictures and all of that on the internet for the world to see. Um, it, it's just it's it's a bad it's a bad habit of trickling down um, unnecessary things that Marines just can't seem to not do. And one of those things is sexual assault, sexual harassment, as well as talking bad on their own sisters their own sisters who went through the same training as they did. But for some reason, they get half the respect and half the credit. All right, the third topic is going to be the situation at Fort Hood. Fort Hood, we don't know what y'all got going on over there, but y'all need to figure it out. I'm gonna be honest with you, Fort Hood, they had all types of stuff going down there at Fort Hood. They had prostitution rings. Uh, what else? They got people uh, missing for months on end and now just being found, it's ridiculous. Um, it's definitely uh, an issue with accountability there and even in the Marine Corps somebody is five minutes late to formation Their phone is getting blown up. We're going over to, to their houses we're, we're not we're bank, we're going to their doors to figure out where they're at and it's not because You know a thing that we're obsessed with them or anything like that. We, we genuinely we genuinely care for our Marines so if we notice our Marines are missing or Marines coming to work um, Having a bad day. We notice that we take action that's this. Honestly, it, it hurts. It hurts. And uh, my brother's in the army. I shared the video on my Instagram talking about this. And I was like, what, what if that was my brother? That, what if that was me? And then it hurts. Like, I wouldn't want nothing bad to happen to my brother. And I talk about uh, FPC Roman, who was missing. This was actually in Fort Bragg. And he was found dismembered. Murdered. And there was another uh, PFC Morales. He was found murdered in the same in the same area where Vanessa Gidgeon was murdered. And he was missing for like a year. And it's not just let's do justice for Vanessa, but let's do justice for every single soldier, every single service member who is out there suffering, who is out there being oppressed. That shouldn't happen in our military. That's on set. And all that stuff that's going on for hood. That needs a solution. We need the government to help us out. We need FBI to go out there and figure out what's going on. Reform that place. Because you read about the sergeant who had a, he was doing um, like male, uh, female prostitution and human trafficking. Human trafficking. Yeah, it was actually a, a senior staff and CEO. I think it was the E7 who was in charge of that. And that's just absolutely terrible. And we're not saying like, it's, it's freaking perfect in the military, but this stuff that's going on, this is toxic, it's toxic leadership. It doesn't go with the core values. It doesn't go with the core values in any military whatsoever. Any military, not just honor, courage, and commitment like in the Marine Corps, but every single value that 
everybody learns in their service it does not it does not go with us i don't know agree with this and it's a security issue it really is it really is a security issue and you know one thing that really made me upset um one thing that actually makes me upset a lot is you know something as simple as a a rifle i wouldn't necessarily call the rifle simple but let's just say it's a, a rifle goes missing or some ammunition ammunition goes missing on a base the base shuts down completely those marines don't go home at all until that stuff is found people are relieved from that people lose their jobs for that and as soon as uh, a human being goes missing um, the first thing that pops up to everybody's mind is ua they're ua they left base they're running away they can't take the military anymore and that's absolutely unset absolutely that's anytime someone goes missing i'm a firm believer of nine times out of ten yeah maybe maybe they're going your way maybe they can't take it anymore maybe they're leaving but it's always that one possibility that something happened to that individual and that's more of an account accountability piece um, you know and it shouldn't take days on end to, to get to the conclusion that someone is missing that is absolutely terrible a human life is more valuable than gear Absolutely. it's more valuable than anything like that somebody's mother son daughter father brother sister the list goes on like if that happened to my little sister if it happened to me if it happened to my brother like that's that's not right at all and we don't agree with that and we want the military to take as serious, just as serious as you take a rifle going missing, take it serious as your soldier going missing, your marine going missing, your airman going missing. If anybody goes missing, you should shut the base down just as you shut it down for a rifle. It, it should be happening. I don't see why not. I, I don't see why that's a problem. I don't see why that's too hard. Gear can easily be replaced. A human life cannot, so. That's just one of those things. It's just as bad as losing a service member in combat, losing them in the garrison. All right, our fourth topic that we're gonna talk about is downgrading females in the Marine Corps or the military. All right, this is very, this is, uh, this is very personal to me because my wife um, is actually one of the first females to ever be in an infantry unit um, on Camp Pendleton. Um, she was a victim of sexual harassment, all right, by a staff and CO, which is terrible, absolutely terrible. So anytime she come home, she tells me something about her day, absolutely, I 100% believe it, because this stuff happens, all right? If it, it, it me saying it doesn't happen, I will be a liar. This happens, all right, downgrading our female service members. I just don't understand it. I just don't understand it. I hear smart remarks all the time, oh, they're too slow. Oh, they can't hike. Oh, they might they may break their hip whenever they hike. It's absolutely disgusting. And some certain males need to realize that not all females are physically capable just like them. This if I hear it personally, that is my duty. I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna say something. If it continues to happen, then that person doesn't need that person doesn't belong in the Marine Corps. As a as a female, it is like it's like I have, I have to prove myself even more. It's like I have to work twice as hard to even like be looked at or it's like to be accepted in a way. And it's like, there's a reason why, like my PFT, right? The PFT that I did, I made sure that I had a male PFT score. So my last PFT was, my run time was 1743. I got my 22 pull-ups, I can do my crunches, 115. That's like about a 290, 295, I'm wrong. Excuse me if I'm wrong, on male PFT. And female's PFT is a 300. And I did it because I want to prove males that I'm capable just as much as they are. And I've been in QRF, I've been in Quick Reaction Force in Afghanistan with grunts. And they never treated me differently. They never looked down at me. They never disrespected me. They took me as one of their like as one of them and they treated me as a sister they took care of me when we had to buddy drag each other and when we had to take care of each other when we had to do patrols when we had to do anything they took care of me and i took care of them and i did my best 
So when people downgrade females in the Marine Corps or in the military, that's sad. That's not right. And I do not tolerate that. And I'm not going to stand for that. And I'm not going to laugh with you or think it's okay. I will correct you. And I will put you on the spot. And I will make sure you will hold accountable. Females, we work just as hard as you do. And there's females that do a better job than some of the males too. Absolutely. And it's sad because most of the, most of the situations um, regarding this is always coming from a bare minimum or a crappy marine i'm talking about just the just um, most unset marine imaginable the marine who doesn't know their job the marine who can't show up to work on time can't get a haircut can't seem to follow the standards can't always shoot. getting in trade yes all those like who are you to voice your opinion about somebody else when you're not even squared away when you're not even 100 percent that I know for certain because I'm not a very optimistic person that it's going to take some time to get to that. Stuff is not going to change overnight, but it is up to all of us. Everyone who's watching this video, all of the service members, um, it is up to us to change that. Be the change you want to see in the world. I say that so much and I always say more gratitude, less hate. Let's help each other. That's something that I, I preach so much on my page because it's like, even when I post something positive, there's a male saying something bad about me. There's a male calling me names. There's somebody trying to bully me. And I still, to this day, even on my YouTube channel, somebody, some people say stuff and YouTube does not post it because it goes to a different guidelines. And then I, I block the comments. I delete them. I report their pages. Like that's sad. That's sad. And that behavior only stops when you help us out. When you make a change, when you stop those who are being disrespectful, when you start doing that, when you start correcting others, when you hold other people accountable, regardless of rank, regardless if they're your buddy, regardless. Because yeah. I wouldn't be friends with someone who is like that. that. I don't want that person in my circle. I don't want to be related to that person. Why would I want to be friends with somebody who's disrespectful, who doesn't share my values, who doesn't share how I feel, who doesn't share how I am? That's not even right. And if your friends is like that, you should probably got, get some new friends. Definitely 100% not your friends. Definitely. Not. It's not. Because one day, maybe you'll be a father, maybe you'll have a daughter, and your daughter will come home crying to you because she's being disrespected at school by other kids. She's being sexually harassed at school by other kids and that's sad and maybe then you'll realize wow you know what i shouldn't have never said that about her i should have never made fun of her i should have never called her names and think it's funny because it's not funny and it's not a joke absolutely our fifth topic is going to be is the military safe and people are scared about joining the military this is what hit me really hard. This is what hit me really, really hard. Um, like I said in my, in my previous video, um, I had a female viewer who watches the channel quite often, messages me on Instagram and asks, um, do I think it would be safe for her to join with everything going on? That broke me down. It really did. That was the night I couldn't sleep. I couldn't get any sleep. And I was frustrated and I was mad because I couldn't give her an answer. There was nothing I could tell her during that point. Absolutely nothing. Because I know what situation she was talking about. She was talking about, obviously, with Vanessa again. And there's nothing that I can say to answer that. And that's what absolutely broke me down. I was so depressed. I was unmotivated during that time. I was like, man, I'm sick of the military already. Because people have to go through this. I get asked these questions. And I feel I make, I put my heart and my soul in making these videos. Give you guys the most up honest truth about everything Marine Corps. You guys know, if you watch my videos, that's my intentions. And just for having somebody to uh, ask me that with everything going on in other branches, I feel like everything I'm saying is just pointless. I feel like nobody can believe a word I'm saying, even though I'm putting my heart and my soul into it. And that's, that's, that's rough. It's hard and like, just like you, there's people that message me and ask me that that they're scared that they're they're about to ship out and they're scared that they don't want that to happen to them 
um, they're like my parents don't agree with my decision now because of everything that's going on uh, they don't want me to go and join certain branch like the army or the marines or the navy any branch and it's sad it's hurtful it's it's like like people need to realize that with this this problem this problem if we don't come together to implement solutions and the solutions that we talk about the solutions that we need help with you sharing our ideas talking about our ideas so that way the right person can see and help us out like this is just not right and it's hard like he said like i don't know what to say what am, what am i supposed to tell like what am i supposed to say i i don't know if that that that, that person joining is going to be under my charge i don't know that i'm like I, out of a hundred out of a like 100 percent chance there's a one percent that she will be under me like that's that's very minimal it's very minimal like i don't know and all I could do is raise awareness. I organized a group with over 200 members that were conducting multiple marches, multiple vigils to find justice for Vanessa Gage and to find justice for um, service members who are missing, service members who are murdered, to find justice in multiple cities. They are doing this whole movement. We were doing this whole movement just to raise awareness. I'm sharing on my page. I'm sharing because I want justice just as much as you want it and this is hard and i want the military to be safe i want to be able to be confident and say yes this is safe you're my sister and this is my brother and he will have your back just as much as i do like that's that's something that to think about it does something that it's it's a it's hard obviously guys she doesn't have to do remotely half of everything she's doing right now she does it because she truly cares and that is someone who takes action. There's a difference between someone who sits down and talk about how to change things versus someone who actually takes the time and effort to actually changing things. I don't lost the words right now because it's just getting to the point to where it's absolutely ruining the repetition, the reputation, sorry, of everyone who came before us. Everyone who gave it their all to do the right thing and to make our institution that much more precious and that much more valuable uh, to see it all being broken down by the actions of some people. People who gave their lives, people who sacrificed their lives in combat to for a mission, for something that they believe in. But now we have soldiers dying in U.S. soil, soldiers dying in U.S. soil. And you know what? Like, I wish and I want to, I hope that this video helps out so much that even the president sees it, even whoever sees it, Congress sees it, because that's what needs to happen. So that way we can make a change. That way it could be this reformation. That way the points that we talk about, the things that we want, reform the systems, reform the sexual assault systems, reform all that, it could actually change. Because we we're working on it we're doing what we can but we also need everybody's help we need to unite we need to be a team to make this happen all right guys thank you so much for watching this video and uh actually listening to what we have to say and not just listening but taking everything that we have and thinking about it and actually helping us find more solutions uh comment below if you think our solutions can be helpful if you know people who can help us out please comment below so that we can get this to the right sources to the right people who could help us out uh and i appreciate you a lot this is this is a heavy subject and um it was hard it's, it's hard to talk about it and um i'm very passionate about this uh, because it's it's just it's, it's fucking hard like it's hard absolutely well uh, like you guys said if you guys have any suggestions or ideas uh, feel free to leave that in the comment section we actually we're looking for that we need that information um thank you guys so much for watching um it's been a pleasure i'm ao nixo not Mario Nabula. thank you